lives and breathes DNA sequencing. We've got a lot of experience over the years. We're completely new to coronavirus though. We got involved uh, by attending a meeting that was led by Professor Sharon Peacock and Sanger contributed to, to forming the COVID-19 Genomics Consortium or COG UK. And we pledged to contribute to sequencing the genomes of, of the coronaviruses. The specific challenge that was laid down to the lab team was looking at the processes that were in place, how they could be flexed and reused, worked around to enable us to A, start sequencing COVID genomes and B, sequence them at, at a, as high a capacity as, as we could achieve. We've been working really closely with the Sanger for a number of years, specifically with the R&D team. So through ongoing discussions that I regularly have with them, I was aware of a potential project regarding COVID sequencing. In the early days, it was really important for us to build on our already established collaborations, and we had a number of those with, with commercial suppliers. We very quickly reached out to SPT. As the request came in to me, I made it a top priority. I personally came over, some of the engineers, the applications team, even the logistics team were all mobilised to help assist the R&D team develop the methods and get the project up and running as quickly as possible. We've got a strong partnership for R&D already. SPT were really open to working with us to loan equipment as quickly as possible and to co-develop some new protocols that, that enabled us to, to get our COVID sequencing pipeline off the ground. That would be good to be able to get that set up uh, in an automated way. Back in March 2020, the sequencing R&D team were challenged with building a pipeline to sequence SARS-CoV-2. It was all hands on deck, um, with the team splitting into small groups to develop different aspects of the protocol. So some were looking at reverse transcription of the coronavirus RNA template. Some were working on optimising the multiplex PCR, which we use to target and amplify the COVID genome, and others are working on library preparation methods. I think the key learning as a technology vendor is the need for equipment to be incredibly flexible, it should always be at the forefront when designing and developing new products. Both the Dragonfly Discovery and Low Volume Mosquito instruments are really simple to program. Both instruments are used throughout our pipeline and help reduce overall turnaround time of the sequencing data produced. It quickly became apparent that multiple instruments needed to be deployed in the workflow. Fortunately, we were able to rapidly scale our manufacturing efforts to meet these demands, both in terms of instrumentation and consumables. The rapid response from SPT in delivering these new instruments helped make the development of this pipeline smoother and Sanger are now sequencing tens of thousands of COVID-19 genomes every week. Ideally, five years from now, surveillance would be a household word. It would be a, a, a very rapid process that would enable uh, governments and, and uh, sort of health care organisations to be on the front foot to, to respond um, in the event of, of any future pandemics. Our involvement in the COVID-19 sequencing project has massively strengthened our relationship with the Sanger. I for one, and I now speak on behalf of the whole of SPT LabTech, we're immensely proud that our products have been so instrumental in the fight against COVID-19. Mm -hmm.